How's it going guys? Coffee here. Today I wanted to go over how to craft candles as well as divinity slates. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I've been crafting my candles here that I'm using for my plus four candles as well as how to go about crafting slates for plus two. And uh, let's go over that. So first things first, um, in regards to the mods for candles, there is a website I'll leave in the link below, which is TLIDB, which will show you the tier zero, tier zero mods for basically everything. Um, you can typically see the mod that something comes from, like the T0 mod will be right above that value, even though they're not all, always in order. So for example, like plus, um, plus two minion can come from either minion damage or minion attack and cast speed. So um, just even though on the TLIDB list, you'll only see it on there once, it can come from both candles. Um, some of the more obscure ones that maybe aren't in the right place is in order to get these candles here that have the um, um, damage, skill area, and movement speed. These come from either skill radius or um, critical damage on defeat. Um, this one right here, this mod. Critical damage if you defeated an enemy recently. So those come from that one, skill radius, or that. Um, the rest of them are pretty, they're, they fall pretty in line with what they are. So if you see it's Warcry, this is going to come from any Warcry node. Or Sealed Mana is going to come from any Sealed Mana, things like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, in regards to um, crafting candles, it's basically just store all the candles you can. Save them all. Anything that has Tier 1 mods on it, I set it aside. Um, and I leave it set aside for whenever I'm trying to actually hit something. Same with my T-Zeros. I always stash them and keep them. For the actual tree I use for this, I put all the points here in the duplication chance of soul candles. This makes it really easy to hit like really nice T-Zero candles or double T-Zero candles. This increases your odds of being able to just like hit something and smash it together right away for multiple T-Zeros. And then you want to put some points here in the Tears of Eterna um, stacks as well. Um, for them to double um, for this i get like 150 to 200 tiers for every single city i run now in regards to the um and other than that it's pretty much just a lot of uh smashing them together and you know they're gonna end up uh failing a lot of the times i think it took me 12 times to hit my first uh candle here of plus two cold plus two minions so you just kind of have to persist and uh push through it in order to get it uh next thing up Coming to slates, pretty much everyone, what you are looking to start with with your slates is going to be like plus one of whatever you need, whether that's cold, fire, passive, or whatever it may be. And then um, you're going to basically just be trying to roll for the other things from there. But for the most part, if you say we're trying to roll slates for, um, for cold iris here, you either want to start with a plus one cold skill level or a plus one spell skill level. So for that, you'd want to just take a look and check the prices of each. So we're going to go here into the Advanced tab, and we're just going to go look for the Divinity Slate here, and I might already have this saved here. So you want to search for a minimum of one of either, we'll just search Level here for the Condition Group, and we want either one plus one Spell or plus one Cold. Here, and we're going to go ahead and search. One of them will typically be cheaper than the other, but... Uh, We'll take a look here. Looks here. So we have something here. What, the 40. This is the cheapest we've seen so far. I'm just going to pin it um, or add it as a favorite in case we so we don't have to cycle back. Um, it looks like these are starting to go up in price a bit. Sometimes they all they go down all the way to like 20 or 30 FE, but we're not really going to be able to see here. If we can find plus one spell candles at roughly the same price as plus one cold, um, it is easier to hit plus two starting with a plus one cold candle or a slate rather, not a candle, um, because you can't hit like plus one fire if you have plus one cold. But a plus one spell skill um, slate can hit, you know, plus one fire, plus one cold, plus one lightning, things like that. Um, so plus one cold is typically what you want to start with. So if we go ahead and remove this and search just for plus one cold, we can kind of see what's going to be the cheapest. Um, Typically for these, you want to just look to see what the prices are, what's available, and then cycle through to decide if you want something specifically um, for like the mods that you actually want. Depending on if you're just trying to mass roll these, you might just buy cheaper ones, or if you're looking for something more specific, you can specifically buy one that's going to be more expensive 
Um, but again, expect to have to roll a bunch of these. Like if you look in my in my stash right here, I probably have. I'm pretty sure I have a st stash tab of like 10 or 15 of these that I started with plus one cold and I hit something else and then um, they just didn't go anywhere. So you have you end up with a lot of slates that you just roll and they don't end up they don't end up hitting anything. They don't end up landing, but that's just kind of the nature of what it is to craft these. So let's cycle through. I'm just going to buy one of these cheaper ones um, probably here. I'm just going to pin this as well. Let's see if I can find cheaper than 45. I think, oh, here's a 30. I'm just going to buy this because it's probably coming in under priced. If you find one like this and you already know you're going to be buying a lot, the quicker way to do this is if you do buy one here. Now that it's bought, I can actually price search this and see what the actual prices are. So if I go to price check now and I can just price check the plus one cold, I can see there's a couple of them for 40 and one of them for 35, one for 45. So when it comes to rolling these personally, what I end up doing is when I'm clicking brand, I'm always just clicking brand on everything. Um, you pretty much don't want to say no to any roll that comes through that increases the rarity. So if this increases the rarity from um, blue to purple, I pretty much will always take the purple, like even if it's a blue that is better than the purple for myself. But you pretty much want to always accept the increases in um, rarity because that's how you end up getting it all the way up to the gold rarity mods here. So because these are both blue um, rarity mods, I actually want the minion um, cold damage here instead of this. So I'm going to get tell it to revert and then I'm going to tell it to continue and brand again. Same thing again. I want this mod out of here but as i said here because it's purple we're going to take it even though we don't want skill radius it doesn't actually do anything for us we're just going to tell it to keep it same thing with this purple and you're just going to let it go through um until it rolls to hopefully you get something that's going to increase the rarity again um for when it goes from purple to purple again just stick with whatever is um better for the build um in this case the other one would be better, but I'm not going to click it right now because I don't feel like clicking it again. But for the blues here, again, we would want this other one to be here. And we're just going to click brand again. Same thing here. So far, this slate is looking like it's going to be junk. There's not going to be anything useful out of it. And this is going to be one that's basically just going to be 50 or whatever it was, 30 FE into the trash, which is fine. This is just kind of how it happens sometimes. So after this, we just uh, throw it to the junk pile and buy another. But um, pretty much this is going to be the route that you're going with for buying slates. This is where I recommend just using the condition groups like this. Uh, it does definitely save yourself some time. We did look at the price before. Um, so we do know that there's a few of them out there for 40 FE or less. So we're just going to try to cycle through and find these now. Let's buy this other 40 FE one here. And we're going to go ahead and try to craft another one. Hopefully we'll get a little bit luckier on this. Um, but this is pretty much going to be the process with slates. Um, it's just kind of the way it is. You're just a lot of clicking and um, you're going through and you can basically expect to have a lot of slates that don't really go anywhere that aren't going to be very useful for you. So we got lucky here. This pushed all the way up to like the highest tier mod you could possibly get. And then, um, you know, even though this doesn't do anything for our build, this can re-roll itself to another mod of this tier. Um, so it can give us like spell damage for or minion damage basically instead So we're just gonna hopefully yeah, so it changed to erosion damage now. That's fine It's still a dead mod for us either way. So we're just gonna keep clicking through here Until uh, hopefully we get okay, so we got this one pushed up to a gold mod This is good because now this is a chance to get rolled into another gold mod um, The one right here we just brand again we hope to get lucky. We didn't get lucky for us, but, uh, you know, it's a slate that has something. So typically, I, if I have room in my stash, I won't actually get rid of these. I'll just keep them around because you never know when you might end up having a build that's running something crazy. In this case, it's probably unlikely. I don't know what I'd be running that'd be cold to erosion, um, things like that. But I've had some slates that I had in there that I ended up moving to another character that I, you know, would have had to recraft otherwise. Um, We'll try one more just for the sake of uh, showcasing things. For um, characters like um, minion based characters, so like the character that I have here on um, on Iris, the other option for um, slates would be a plus one minion slate. 
um, here. But you don't want to be running God of Machine Slates on Iris because it's impossible to hit plus two. You can only hit plus two if you are a if you're using synthetic troops. Then you can hit plus one minion and plus one synthetic troop. But on the God of Machine um, slates, you can't hit plus one cold or plus one spell. There is no plus one spell here. So if you are specifically going for minion levels, then you are going to be better off um, going with the Goddess of Knowledge slates here. Um, yeah, if you guys do end up running into any specific questions about slates, you can post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can for what things I have actually crafted before. But typically you just want to look through what available mods are on each thing on each slate and then kind of roll from there. You can find these on TLIDB and you can also see which ones are available in the game as well just by selecting the slate and then looking through the list of mods that are available there. So let's try to slam this again. Hopefully we'll get something good here. Something usable. So this is good. We got up to a gold pretty fast because this gives us it's easier for a mod to try to re-roll um, right here. Like that's the highest odds is that something is just going to re-roll. So the faster you can get these to gold, the better chance you have of actually getting a plus two a plus two slate. So this went from... I don't remember if this was purple or not. Oh, it upgraded. No, it wasn't purple. So we're going to leave it. Oh, spell crit damage. This would be good for a caster build, just not good for me. Oh, this is good and nice. Again, upgraded to the highest rarity. So we're going to brand again. Hopefully we get lucky. Oh, there's a plus one skill right here. So this is perfect. This is actually a slate I'm going to use. So I'm glad we were able to hit this for the video. Um, and let's go ahead and brand again. Uh, what was this before? Skill radius. We don't want skill radius. We don't want the crit either. Um, actually, we do want the skill radius because that would increase the radius of nourish and other things. And we'll brand and... Um, yeah. So we end up hitting a plus two, plus two slate here. Um, this will actually get used. I'm not sure which slate's going to come out. Probably this Focus Blessing one here. Um, yeah, this one. We do not use this slate at all. I don't believe, at least. I might end up needing the extra stuff. But, I mean, that's pretty much how you're at it. Um, I, I don't know what the actual odds are of hitting these. I just do know that uh, this is kind of the process to do it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And other than that, See you in the next one.